Hello, everybody. I don't actually know the details, but uh, I guess that uh, most of you live in a box. And every morning, or at least five days a week, you get out of this box and get into this metal box that takes you to this huge box where you meet other people. And then you spend the day in that box in order to get paid to pay for the metal box and the first box. And then after a day, you go back in the metal box, and on the way, you stop at some other two or three boxes to pick up some kids, some groceries, some pets, maybe. And then you arrive back home in the original box. So think of it. Is this the way you want to live in the future? I don't really think so. This is a guy called James Elish. He's the founder of Region Villages. And if you want to hear his story, please go to TEDx, and you will find two of his uh, TEDx talks in the last year. Uh, James is a senior technologist at Stanford University, a part, of course, being the founder of Region Villages. He's also a faculty member of Singularity University. But most importantly, he is the father of a young boy, just like myself. The only difference is that I have six. And as parents, we have a huge responsibility to onboard our children onto the, their voyage into the future, into a sustainable, regenerative, and resilient future. In 2013, James was working at Stanford, and everything was sunshine. His son was two and a half years old. And suddenly, these quotes started popping up on the radar. IPCC. Nobody on this planet will be untouched by the impact of climate change. NASA, global industrial civilization, could collapse due to reduce explo resource exploitation. I mean, civilization collapse. Let that one think, sink in for a bit. And the UNTAD report, urgent needs, this is positive, needs for humanity to spread out from the cities into self-reliant small communities. So there's hope. And then the Rockefeller Report recently stated a, a lot of things, but uh, of course that we will be about 10 million, sorry, 10 billion people on this planet by 2050, of which most of them will be living in coastal, overcrowded mega cities. And the arable land and the potable water and the wild fish in the ocean will be at super low level. And that is an equation for a total catastrophe, in our view. It's about food security. So what can we do about that? Well. James was at Stanford at the time, and he was surrounded by some of the best brains that you can ever imagine. So he reached out and said, how can we address this challenge for the future? And this is when he found out about the decathlon, which is the uh, annual 20 university competition that is about designing and building the most energy positive home. And in 2014, this competition uh, was in Versailles, France. And this is how it looked like. 20 beautiful energy positive homes going up in just two weeks. And what he saw was not a competition. It was a neighborhood based on a Schneider Electro microgrid. Load balancing, 
with electric vehicles buzzing around. And it was like James said, it was like a clean green version of Burning Man. And that's why he realized and, and came up with the idea about region villages. And with some help from some great architects from the Nordics, this is a visualization that they came up with. Region Villages was born, a high-tech real estate development company that is addressing the houses shortage and managing high-yield organic production of doorstep food. Creating clean gen energy and sharing the storage of distribution through microgrids. Living in region villages, you don't have to be an engineer or an eco freak. This is a village on your own terms. We're actually developing a blockchain enabled app that you can use in order to register if you are contributing to this village through some work. And then your uh, monthly association fee will be reduced, depending on how much work you do. So this is a visualization of what it could look like. Um, maybe it will not no, be exactly like this, especially not in the Nordics. I'll come back to that. Living in a home in Rindin villages is living within nature, close to nature, feeling safe and secure, knowing where your food comes from, knowing that you will have food tomorrow, you will have clean water, your waste will be taken care of, and so forth. We will design this from the bottom up, with the infrastructure underneath the ground, and then building on top of that. And in order to do that, we have uh, been partnering with some really great big companies that also want to be part of this journey, along with some university that will supply us with uh, uh, updated research on how these type of communities can work. This is the motherboard of, of region villages with the different components. Here I've highlighted some of them. You have the fish farm, you have the livestock, you have the garden, you have your electric uh, car uh, pool, you have the microgrid and so forth. So it's all about bringing existing technologies and systems together. Because they're out there and then most of them are really proven today. We will do this in three phases, starting off with the closed loop system. It's really about the output from one system is the input to another. So it's a circular economy type of, of uh, model. And then we add on the algorithms in order to self-improve these type of, of communities. And last, we'll add on the robots. Some people say that the robots will first take our jobs and then they will kill us, but we will actually make use of them. This is a <clears throat> picture of a map explaining where we are going to build the first pilot community in the Netherlands, in Almere, a, a municipality outside Amsterdam. So in 2018, we will start breaking ground and uh, build this village. About 50 years ago, this peninsula that you can see here was all underwater, and the Dutch died it off and pumped out the water. And uh, 200,000 people have moved in so far, and they plan to double that in the next 15 years. So we found this beautiful organic farmland just a bike ride away from the city center of Almere in which we will uh, develop the first pilot community with about 200, 250 homes. And it's already oversubscribed. 
So what are we doing in the Nordics? I'm the uh, director of Nordic operations for region villages, and we've been quite active here as well. Uh, not so much in Finland, because uh, you can see there, there's no dots in Finland. But after today, I hope that I can put a dot in Finland as well. So what have we been doing so far? We have been experimenting with these type of systems before, so it's not totally unknown to, to us. This is an example of a fish farm north of Malmö, where I live. It produces around 10 tons of fish every year, which is enough to feed around 300 households. And, um, oh, sorry. Oh, here's one. What happened? Well, anyway, in the middle, we have uh, indoor farming in artificial light. And we've been growing f uh, strawberries there as, as a test. And they taste really, really, really well. And not least, last but not least, we have even produced our own beer. Let's see how this works. OK. So I invite you to uh, take part in this journey together with us in order to create regenerative, self-sufficient, off-grid eco-villages that will take us into a safe and secure future. Thank you. <laughs>